death of blood. When Captain Thomas Sankara, a young military officer, took power in his native country, he changed its name from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, the land of upright people. This was in 1983, in the midst of the IMF exacerbated debt crisis. The origins of debt go back to colonialism's origins, Sankara said at the July 1987 Organization of African Unity Summit. The point of the summit was to create a unified front of African states to repudiate their debts. We cannot repay the debt because we are not responsible for this debt, Sankara said. On the contrary, others owe us something that no money can pay for. That is to say, the debt of blood. In a time of hopelessness, when debt ravaged the states of Africa, Asia, and Latin America, Sankara came with hope and preached confidence. Stand up, he would say, and look the world in the eye, for your dignity cannot be diminished. It was a powerful message. In 1985, Sankara laid out his theory of confidence. You cannot carry out fundamental change without a certain amount of madness. In this case, it comes from nonconformity, the courage to turn your back on the old formulas, the courage to invent the future. It took the madmen of yesterday for us to be able to act with extreme clarity today. I want to be one of those madmen. We must dare to invent the future. Imperialism would not allow this. The plots against him came fast and furiously. The French have still not opened their archive on their activities, but rumors in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso's capital, remain alive to French and CIA intervention to undermine Sankara's efforts. In 2009, Italian journalist Silvestro Montanaro interviewed Liberian senator and warlord Prince Johnson, who told him, on tape, that there was an international plot to get rid of this man, meaning Sankara. Cyril Allen, a former head of Liberia's National Petroleum Company, told Montanaro that Sankara was leaning too far left. The Americans were not happy with Sankara. He was talking of nationalizing his country's resources to benefit his people. He was a socialist, so he had to go. General Momo Jiba, an aide-de-camp of Charles Taylor, the Liberian warlord, approached Sankara to allow Taylor to use Burkina Faso to launch his regional war. Sankara told Momo that he was not interested. Taylor met with Sankara's defense minister, Blaise Kumpaure, in Mauritania, along with a white man from Paris. They then held another meeting in Libya, where they decided to kill Sankara. Cyril Allen said, The Americans and French sanctioned the plan. There was a CIA operative and the U.S. Embassy in Burkina Faso working closely with the Secret Service at the French Embassy, and they made the crucial decisions. Momo and Johnson were part of the plot. Before he was shot to death on the 15th of October 1987, Sankara had written, Whatever the contradictions, whatever the oppositions, solutions will be found as long as confidence reigns. The assassination of Sankara ended a long cycle of national liberation, as confidence dithered, as the debt crisis swept away hope and as the USSR began its own slow demise.